Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Welcome back. My name is Angel Baby guys and today is my cash stuffing guys and I will touch bases also on some savings challenges that I will be doing. So guys, if you like these videos, make sure you give them a thumbs up and also leave me a comment down below. Let me know how your budget is going. I'm very curious and if you are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified the next time I upload a video. So guys, happy Thursday yet again and I will get started. So first of all, I want to share with you my challenges and I have spirit here. Now, I will show you guys what I am doing. So, when I did my budget with me, if you watched that video, then you know guys that I did a scratch off from Hands and Bands and I was supposed to stuff $6 into a challenge. And so I will show you where that money is gonna go. And also I had that extra 50 cents. I will also show you where that money is gonna go as well. So, let me find this challenge really quickly. So it's gonna go into, and I'll turn it this way so you guys can see gonna go into my mini savings challenge and this is once you complete all these envelopes it is a total of 300 this is mama cat's savings that she it will go towards her um, surgery so we are going to stuff that one today as you guys can see I color in the six dollar envelope and also there's a bonus of two dollars so I will explain to you where that money came from so Here's the $6 that I budgeted for, which I came off that scratch off, which was the mystery savings challenge. And I'm gonna go ahead and stuff that in Mama Cat's right here. And also I have a extra $2. Now this was a blessing from God and the universe, both guys. Um, this money actually came from the mail, okay? And it was a um, environmental, I think survey that they always send out and you know how sometimes they'll include actual cash in there so it actually went to the wrong address but my mail carrier decided to give it to us I don't know why but I'm very grateful because this was two dollars in a blessing that I did not expect and I'm very grateful for it so I did the survey and then put it back in the mailbox for them to pick up and then I took my two dollars out so a total of eight dollars will go into mama cat's envelopes um for her surgery and so that's what that is going to be for so we have five six seven and eight and they're really crispy ones so i'm going to put that in there and i have already colored those envelopes off camera but they are colored in so i will hopefully get to that 300 really soon guys so there's that and I'm just going to flip in the back and show you guys this envelope real quick. Now, if you remember in Confetti, I had Mr. Krabs in there. And what I decided to do is have a budget gel. Now, I haven't really heard anyone do this before. This might be something just unique that my brain cells have thought of. But um, I decided to do a no-spin month. And really, I decided to do a no-spin month every other month. So my no spend month started and this month was in January and then I'm going to alternate. So I'm going to have a no spend month, then a spend month, then a no spend, then a spend. And so on the months that I have a no spend, I'm taking all my personal, uh, personal money, the money that I budget for, the money for my game night, the money I already have in luxury, which is my wallet. And I will put all that money in here so I do not have personal money on me on those no spend months. So January, I will not be spending any money and I will unlock this money and use it as will in February. So there we go. And I will show you guys the money I have in here now. So right now from all my envelopes, I have 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 46. So I have 46 in my budget gel and that's where it has to stay until February. So that is something new I decided to come up with. All right, so let's get into the cash stuffing portion of the video. If you hold on one second, guys, I will set up and I will be right back, okay? All right, guys, and we are back now. And also, um, I meant to show you guys the 50 cents that I had left over um, for that challenge. And let me grab my little 
coin counter here. So we're at zero right now. So this will be the first money that I put into my little coin jar. And so let's go ahead and put that in there. And that was the 50 cents extra that I had to budget over with. If you watch from budget with me, I had um, 50 extra cents. And so I decided to go ahead and put it in the jar. All right, guys. So let's get into the cash stuffing portion. Like I said, let me grab my money out. And I should have one 60 cents. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, and 66. So as you guys can see, I have a new little tray here. And this is a makeup palette tray. It is a little bit smaller than the one I was using because the other one took up a lot of room. And so I think I'm just going to start using this one from now on for my cash stuffing. Because it gives me room to move around on my table here. Okay, so there we go. So let me go ahead and empty out Luxury and see what we have in here right now. And then we will restuff. So right now I'm personal. As you guys know, I have nothing in there because, like I said, I just talked about my budget gel. And so that's why there's no money in personal. I can't spend anything this month. And really coming um, off of a month from Christmas, you don't really need to spend. Health, I have some money in here. Now, for Christmas, I did get a bunch of gift cards. And I actually got three gift cards to Target because everybody knows I get my medicine from the CVS and Target. And so... Health doesn't really need anything because I have 120 total in gift cards just at Target. So I don't really need to um, stuff this. And I have $10 left in health. And so I'm going to move this off to the side and that will go towards game night. So let me see. Health, I did say I was going to put $2 towards that. So let me just go ahead and grab two ones. And I will just keep the... Do I want to put those in there or do I want to? You know what? I'm not going to stuff that. I'm going to put this off the side for game night because I really do have uh, well over the amount I need to for medicine if I need to get some. So I'm not going to put anything in health. We'll just leave the gift cards in there. So family didn't have anything. Dining out had money left over. Okay. I do have a little receipt here from McDonald's. I did a survey and so I'll get a free sandwich or whatever that item is for free. So that will help supplement that. I have some change in here. And let me move Luxury off. And I'm going to go ahead and put the change in here real quick. Into my jar. Let's see. Okay. And there we go. We have 63 cents in there now. So that's going to go to my save the change challenge. And right now in dining out, let's see what I had left over. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I had twelve left over, and that will go to the side two for game night. Um, let's see, dining out is going to get 30. So let's see. See if I can get ugly 20 here. No, I had a really ugly one. I'll pick this one and get a 10. So that is 20, 30 for dining out. Yeah, guys, and really anytime that you can save money, if you have a survey on your coupon or receipt that you can do, to supplement some of your money, please make sure you don't pass that by. I also use Fetch and Receipt Hog and Rakuten. I leave all my links down in the description box below. If you're not familiar with those, Receipt Hog and um, Fetch, all you do is download the apps, you scan a copy of your receipts, and then you get points towards the gift card. And with Rakuten, you just download that app. Um, you can just search whatever store you want to um, purchase from, any online store. And then once you click on that store, it tells you automatically the percentage you will get back off your purchase. And then, you know, you make a purchase and you get cash back and a fat check. Um, so definitely, guys, if you don't have any of those apps, check out my description box below. I will link all my affiliate links. You get points and I get points and we both win. 
So back to this, groceries. We didn't have anything in there, miscellaneous. I did have some money in there. I have not used miscellaneous and that is my stockpile money. So right now miscellaneous, I have five and 10 and that is going to get a single $1. Let me see if I can find a little cruddy one. Okay, so that's gonna be five, 10 and 11. So if I see anything on sale, I will definitely use that money to stockpile my house because I always believe in buying stuff as cheapest. Emergencies, I do have money in there because thank goodness, fingers crossed, I have not had an emergency. Um, I had enough of that last year, so I'm hoping, hoping that 2022 is not going to be the year for any kind of emergencies. So I have 20, 30, and 40 in there now, and that's going to get a solid $20. Let me see. So in emergency right now, I have 20, 40, 50, 60. And this one is the one that I keep on me because sometimes when you're out, you have any kind of emergencies and I don't want to be caught without any money. And I think I'm just going to keep only 100 on me. Um, so there we go. So that goes in there. And then that's just deposit slips. Now, I did not, if you notice, I did not put the money in my personal and I owe myself $5. So I'm going to move luxury off to the side. I'm going to go back in spirit and I'm going to grab a five out of here. And this money is going to go to my budget jail because I am in a no spend month and I can't use this money. I cannot use any of my money until February. So I'm going to go back here to Mr. Krabs, my budget jail, and I will stick that five in there. So in budget jail, I have... 20, 30, 40, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, and 1. And that is going to go in there until next month. So let's move on to the rest of my envelopes here. And I do have my little cheat sheet off to the side here, guys. That's what I'm looking at to make sure I stay on track. So let's see. Mama Cat, let me grab hers. She is going to get her usual 20. And so I have her little envelope here. This is a little mini for her. And I'm just going to grab a single 20 and stick that in her envelope. So she has some spending money for herself. And there we go. Next is going to be Mama Miscellaneous. So right now I should have two 26 in there. So let's see. We have one 225 and 26, so that's correct. And that is gonna get $10, so that's my last 10. So right now, in Mama Miscellaneous, I have one 220, 35, and six, and I will update that tracker later because I do keep track of that. And I want to get that to 600, and once I do that, you will not see this one for a very long time. So there we go. The next is going to be medical slash surgery. Let me get to that one. So right now that is empty because I had to use that for some co-pays for us. Um, some of our um, medical procedures and doctor's visits had to carry on through this year. And so that's why that's empty. So right now that is going to get $20. So I'm just going to grab a 20 and stick that in there. And there we go. Next is going to be New Tech. So New Tech right now has, let's see, we have 50 and 70 in New Tech and that is going to get $1. So that is 50, 70, and one. So $71 in New Tech. And there we go. Now guys, I will ask you a question. If you don't mind, um, please leave me a comment about this. I do need to get internet for my house and computer. So is it better to do a bundle through um, your service through your house or is it better to do um, an extra line through a phone company as far as like a cell phone company? So please let me know what is the best way that will save me more money because I'm not sure. Right now it's looking like T-Mobile, it will be cheaper because Comcast bill has gone up a lot of money. 
but just let me know um, what you guys think. What is your suggestion that I do? Right now, I'm nowhere near having enough money to even get the computer or laptop or where I'm going to get, but I'm just trying to go ahead and be prepared and find out the information. All right, so guys, next is going to be, let's see, car maintenance. So let me grab confetti. Let's see. So right now we have money in here. So in confetti we have 10, 20, and 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, and 73. And that is going to get $5 as usual. And now we have, let's see. I is 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 78. And I will be going to Sam's eventually sometime this year when I need to. That way I can save money and I won't have to go back to the dealership because that's too much money. Okay, next I'm going to go into travel. Travel has, let's see. And we do have a tracker here. I will have to um, update this later because I have not really kept up with that. But I will do it later, guys. Um, travel, we have 100, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to grab a dollar. And that's going to be 100, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And I might up how much these are because I think $5 is going to be too low. So I got to like revamp what each icon is going to be. So that's what we have in travel. And in here, next will be promise. Okay, promise we have. That's 150 and 70. And that is going to get $20. So let's grab a 20. And so in promise, we have 150, 70, and 90. And now we are done with confetti and we will move on to my next child, which is going to be, oh my gosh, y'all, my heart is broken. You know what I'm going to say? Rose Nowlin, guys. I miss her. She was a legendary queen. And I should say she is a legendary queen. And I'm so glad I named one of my binders after Rose because she was a wonderful woman. So Rose here. We're going to go into Girls, Girls. And there she is. Oh, y'all, that makes me so sad. But let's see what we have in here now. I do have my certificate here for a restaurant, so that's going to stay in there. And that's worth $20. And that was a Christmas present, too. So in Girls, 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 we have 10, 15, 20, 25. That's 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. And that's just going to get a single dollar. So that gets my last dollar here. So that is 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. So, and then plus the $20, so really 60 So that's what we have in there for Girls' Night Out. And the last one here will be Home Maintenance. So let's go in Home Maintenance here and see what we have. Right now in Home Maintenance, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 130, 35, 36, 37, 38. 8, 39, 40, 1, 42, 43, 44, and 45. And that is going to get $10. So that gets the last two fives. And so we will count to see what we have in home maintenance. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 130, 35, 40, 45. 
46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 55. And now the last one, of course, as you guys know. And you know what? I'm going to have to pause the video. Let me grab Daisy real quick, guys. I thought I had her out, and I don't. So hold on one second, guys, and I'm going to pause real quick. All right, sorry guys, Daisy was in the other room playing, so I had to go get her. So, as you guys can see, and remember, I've hit my 1,000. So, we have our 1,000 place marker, our prop marker from, this is from Hanson Bands, and this is my channel's name that I asked her to put on there. So, I get to put that bill in there because that money is in the bank. So, let me go to future. If you guys are new to my channel, future is my future retirement. And so that's what that money is for. And I'm going to put this prop money in future. And really, this 20 is going to go in there as well. So right now for future, I have 1,020. So I will stick that in there. And you know, I think I'm going to put it on the side. That way you can see that pretty money. Let's see, show you guys. There we go. So that is my prop money for my thousand dollars and i'm telling you guys if i never started doing these envelopes um you know i would not have this kind of money in here because i would just spend the money and not been accountable for it and i would never have that money saved up so i'm just so thankful for all these challenges and then coming across the envelope system guys so Yep, there we go. That is it for my cash stuffing, and I have no more money, so I will see you guys later. Thank you so much again, y'all, for all the love and support you show my channel. Thank you for subscribing for those that have done that. Thank you for all the likes and shares, comments, anything you do to push my videos out there. I appreciate the love and support. I truly love you guys very much, and I will see you next time on my channel for Friday Game Night. Get your game boards ready. We'll play some low-budget games and have a little fun and have a little chit-chat to talk about our week, and I will see you guys then. Bye.